millions of people put their faith in you, they believed in it, they th believed what you said about it, and then it was chaos afterwards, as you acknowledge in your book. The book he's appearing in this interview to promote, but that's not why we're here. We're here to just watch a lying narcissist toe rag soak up a bit more attention, trying to whitewash his terrible record and his part in making Britain a worse place to live, with his handling of COVID, using the Brexit campaign to gain more personal support, and generally destroying trust that little bit more in politics. Anyway, let's hear him talk a bit about his hand in Brexit. And you blame a lot of people for that. You blame David Cameron, you blame Theresa May later, you blame the EU. The one person you don't blame is you, and people will find that amazing. You no, told us that we should do this, and you hadn't devoted any serious thought to what oh, came on, next. Come on, so, so um, I wanted to win an argument. Now, I'm not completely sure what he means here, but by saying he wants to win an argument, does he mean to him that Brexit was just an exercise, a follow-on from debate class, nothing really to do with helping the average voter, but just about gaining dominance in a debate, a rather dubious slip of the tongue? And I believed in freedom and I believed that our country had a great, great future. But you were the doing, leader. Doing you were different. leading us into this. What I wasn't trying to do, and I don't think, and certainly what Michael Gove wasn't trying to do, we weren't trying to form the next government. Oh, come on. We all know that that's bullshit. What we expected, and what I think, you know, everybody expected, was that the Cameron government, having called a referendum, a yes-no choice for the, for the people, leave remain choice for the people, would bring forward uh, a white paper. Why? Bring... He didn't believe it. What made you possibly think that would be because, the ugly? Because... because in reality, he didn't think Cameron would jump ship so quickly. And there's belief he thought it would be a close call with Remain winning, meaning he'd be able to gain recognition with no real responsibility. A grifter's ideal position so that they can continue the grift, complaining away about everything without having to get their hands dirty. Every other European leader, when they hold referendums, uh, decides, you know, once the people has, have voted, decides what to, to do and stays in office. So the, the pri it's not normal for the Prime Minister, having asked for a referendum vote, suddenly to evacuate the stage. Click here for useless Coonsbergs, Pathetic excuse.